Hello everyone and welcome back to Existence. We're here today on our little walkway up to our tree houses, which I really want to make use of at some point because ever since we made our new house down there we've kind of uh, excluded these a little bit. I have actually, if we come through into here, I have put our extra fishing rods and bows in here just from uh, our fishing shop down there. So I have used them a little bit and I want to put maybe like an enchantment table and stuff up here. I'm not sure at the moment, but we'll figure out something. But what we're going to be doing to in today's episode is we're going to be expanding on our house a little bit in terms of just a little bit of building around the outside and the inside a little bit, I guess. Um, because at the moment this is all we got. And I need to do something on the roof here. Uh, I haven't seen any mobs spawning recently, but yeah. Also this entrance here needs something built up because uh, it is a hole in the roof <laughs> and then um, uh, down here I have done a little bit of building and took me a little bit but made a little entrance here and I'm quite happy with how it's turned out so it uh, looks pretty good so yeah what we're gonna be doing is building out the back here I think I might move the nether portal to the side and then have a, the walkway out here a bit more but I'll get to that later uh, anyway first I'm gonna try to figure out something to do here because yeah we don't want a hole in our roof anymore Okay, it's just a little like openy hatch thing just laid out. I think it's not too bad. Just go upstairs here and then goes down. Yeah, I like it. It, it. I mean, it covers the hole in the roof, so it's an improvement. But yeah, I think I need to put something here possibly just to make it look a bit more um, bulky, I guess. It seems quite wooden. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so what I want to do now is continue this path along here and move the nether portal, which is something I'm hesitant to do, um, because for those of you who remember, I had a bit of trouble leaking my nether portal up, and then TC went and did it for me, which was very kind of him. Um, so I don't want to mess that up. But I think it should be okay as long as we don't really move it too much. I'm just going to put it so it's sideways instead of being um, in the position it's in now. We really need a new pickaxe. I'm going to make an enchanting table at some point. We have more than enough leather and more than enough sugarcane, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to figure out how this needs to go and how it fits in with the rest of this. And I'll get back to you after that. Alright, so that's the nether portal in here. It's, I've tried to make it. It's hard because I'm still regretting... Well, not regretting, um, but... Having the odd, uh, sorry, the even wall size and then the odd floor, like, pathway size is still messing up, but what's going to happen here, it's going to have, um, actually, no, I'm not going to dig that out. So, I probably will end up putting blocks behind it other than dirt, that was weird. Yeah, but that's where the portal is anyway. And then on this side, I'm going to make another exit, like, not like with this exit, more like uh, that main exit we've got down there. So, what I need to do now is figure out the dimension. Alright, that was there to stop the vine from growing. So yeah, the door's going to go over here, I think, so I need to dig this out. I was going to cut down heaps of these bushes because they're all getting in the way. And there's the tall tree here as well. But yeah, so then that's going to lead out here to like a open area. So I'm going to clear out all this, take out this pathway. And I have like an open courtyard kind of thing, so that's going to be kind of cool. But first I need to fix up this pathway here, um, because at the moment, it, well there is no pathway. I was about to go back through my portal, but I actually, will it? I don't know, let's do this and see what happens. If it goes bad, we just get an obsidian generator. Probably going to take us to the market portal. Yeah. Okay, right, so I just went to the nether to grab some more andesite and oh, stone bricks. Um, because, oh my gosh. Portal lag is ridiculous. They still haven't fixed it. It better be fixed in 1.10, I swear. Okay, um, so yeah, grab a few more of these. Just It's quite dark down here, nothing spawns, just to make the pathways along here. Um, I guess it's going to go into this hill a bit. I mean, that was kind of unintentional, I just dug too far. Um, but we might put something back here at some point. Uh, we'll see. Oop. 
But yeah, so uh, portals here. I'm gonna relight that now, actually, and just so we can make sure that it still works properly. Because if it doesn't, then yeah, that'll be annoying. Now, do I actually have a flint and steel? I have two shields. Um, it would appear not. Do I actually have any flint? Oh, I do. Okay. Right, so I'll relight that portal now and make sure it still works. Please work. Come on. Oop, yep. Sweet. Ah, come on. There we go. And now if we go back through. Come on, please work. Oh, yep. It worked. Sweet. Whew, well that's a relief, because if it didn't work, then I was going to be a little bit annoyed. Small little progress update, I've, well, the portal's here of course, but I've started to kind of build this out a bit. Put my dragon head and elytra here, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not sure about the dragon head, it's, you can't really see it, unless, well you run back here. Yeah, it looks a lot better from a distance, but that's pretty cool anyway. Um, so this is where the door's going to be right here, I'm going to actually take these ones out, because I'm going to redo the way that it opens up here just so it's a bit more bold kind of like how we do at the front down there um but yeah so i cut down the tree that was hovering above there i might leave this one here actually no i think i'll cut it down just so we have some more room to work with we can always grow it back again um but then what i gotta do is gotta flatten heaps of land around the back here um so i gotta cut down a few trees too so first i'm just gonna finish off the roof here and I might just leave this open for now and work on that afterwards. Um, but yeah, i got to finish off the roof there and then also build up the wall there as well. Uh, it's a bit more. Uh, build the wall up there a bit more. And then we can get started on the outside. then I just went from eight minutes of footage sorry 11 minutes of footage to eight minutes of footage because I may or may not have forgot to revert my recording frame rate back to 60 FPS from five. <laughs> oh boy anyway well I haven't done too much and I'm happy that I discovered that before it was too late but uh, we've got actually I'm just gonna sleep real quick um, so in terms of what I've done, it's not really too much. It was just some footage of me going and collecting things like a heap of sand. I went and got a heap of sand um, just from the desert by Midnight's Hamlet. Um, but we finished this little part here. Got the portal in here. Uh, oh, that's going to be an issue. I'm going to put a bit of string there or something. Um, but otherwise, out of here, we've got all this cleared out, as you guys saw in the time lapse there. Um, also I added some leaf foliage here and finished up the doorway, which I think looks pretty good, pretty simple, but looks good. Why is that taking so long? Where are all these mobs coming from? Here we go. Yeah, so, uh, I'm pretty happy with this part here. Um, but yeah, other than that, not too much has happened. I've crafted some daylight sensors, I had to look it up. It's, um, it's like that. Yeah, so <laughs> I had to look that up, but I've got it now. So I made some of those. I need to grab up a few more pieces of stone. I'm going to put the sand away just so it's on my chest so I can smelt it later if I need it. Um, but yeah, so now what I'm going to make is something that I've made before on my single player world. It's pretty pretty simple, nothing too special, um, but I really like it. So I'm going to craft it up now or make it up now. Yeah, I don't need that because I've got a inventory. But yeah, um, I'll get started on it and show you how it turns out. Alright, so this is what we're making. It's like a little 
Um, I don't know what to call it, but there's going to be seats here, seats there, seats there, redstone lamps, um, which I haven't actually crafted in each of those parts, and then a fireplace here. So this is a design I've made before on my Patrick's World series, well, on my single player world anyway, um, a long time ago. Uh, so I felt like making a little tribute to that world on here and building this, because it's a really nice little design that I made ages ago, and I really quite enjoy it. So, um, I'm going to do that, and then... No, that needs to be one block lower. So it needs to go down here, which is fine, because we can just do this, and uh, like that, and then like that. Uh, if we could get up. <laughs> there we are. Right, so now I need to go put slabs like this, uh, and here as well. Three, four, two, three, four. Um, it was an unintended side effect. Now that's an issue. I didn't think of that. Um, hmm. How about instead of, I'm not sure how I've done it before, but instead of using slabs there, maybe we use some type of stair. Let's uh, just take that out for now. Um, so we keep it like that, and then, oh, we do have some on us. Sweet, so we can go like that. Yeah, that works fine, doesn't it? Uh, we're going to take these ones out, aren't we? Uh, well, that one doesn't matter, but we'll put it there anyway, just so we can... Oh, I've got some of those, so I'll save resources. And then over here as well, with the stairs. There. And then here. Like so. And so now all we have to do is put that in there. And then we put the slabs like this. Sweet. Oh, jeez! God! That, that made me jump quite a bit. Ah, oh, gosh. Right, those damn ninja creepers. Are they even still called ninja creepers or do I break that? I don't know. But uh, then under these bits, I'm actually going to make that a brass block. We put... I need one more torch. And that... Uh, what am I trying to do? Craft torches with torches. There we go. Like so. Uh, here. So, why isn't that one powered? Okay, none of them are. No, that's fine. Oh, because it's getting dark. Right. Uh, now I need to craft some actual um, lamps, because I have none. Oh, right. Put that in there. Glass. Sweet. So, I'm going to go craft some lamps and then also grab the materials for the fireplace there. Because I think I'm going to make them out of just like stone bricks. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe cobblestone. Cobblestone always looks good on fireplaces, but I'm going to sleep anyway. Hmm, I need to grab some glowstone to make the lamps. But of course, being a server, there is no glowstone in sight. <sighs> I think I saw some around here this way when I was getting quartz. Um, but I think it was like really high up. Hmm... Oh, there we are. Okay, so there's a few bits up here. I don't want too much, so I'll just take a whole, like, chunk so that I've got some for the future. Um, but I need to get up there. I brought some netherrack. We can also have mine more. Why is this so, like, messy around here? Okay. Looks like someone's already tried to get it. I'm assuming that's what those platforms up there are. Like, people grabbing glowstone. Right, so let's build up and grab some glowstone if I could place a block. There we go. Oh, if I get attacked by gas now, I'm probably going to be in a lot of trouble. Mm, this could be interesting. You know what I should have brought? My elytra. That would have been so cool, then I could just, like, fly down. Right, we- oh, okay, we are here. So I'm just going to mine it all straight up. Silk touch. I'll let it fall, and I'll pick it up at the bottom there. Let's just mine it all as fast as we can here. I can hear- Oh my god, come on, don't attack me. Oh, come on. Don't you? Wow. It's going to shoot at me any second now. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> right. No more in sight. Good, good. Let's just grab it. It's only a little one. So I think this is all of it. Two, three. Great. So that's all of it. So let's dig down now and grab. So we've got 11 at the moment. I might use some of this to make spectral arrows because spectral arrows are awesome. Uh, doop, there we are. 16, 17. Oh, no, there's more here too. 
18, 19, 19, that's not too bad. So, um, here we go, near the hub that way. Yeah, so I'll head back, make up those uh, redstone lamps, and also make some spectral arrows, just for fun, because they're pretty awesome. And I will switch back onto vanilla as well, because at the moment, of course, I'm on Optifine, just because it runs a bit smoother. Um, but I'll switch back onto vanilla, because there's a bug with Optifine at the moment, um, that if a thing's glowing, the whole thing changes that colour, not just the outline. Um, so I'll switch back into vanilla to play around with the spectral arrows. But for now I'm going to head back and make those redstone lamps. Okay, so I haven't crafted redstone lamps in a while. But I think it's like this. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Da -da. There we go. Three redstone lamps and spectral arrows, I think, are basically the same thing. Yep, and we doubles them too, so now we get 16. That's an interesting thing. To get spectral arrows, it doubles them. I mean, I think it's on purpose, maybe, so you can get the arrows easier. Um, but this is also a way to kind of create lots of arrows. Um, just using glowstone, which can be a bit expensive if you think about it, because glowstone it gets used up so quickly, it's non-renewable. Um, but yeah, so let's go put these in, and then we can play around to spectral arrows uh, later. Okay, so redstone lamps going in now. Just using kind of the mixture of blocks. Uh, then I'm go doop, doop, doop. And I'm gonna add these on top. Just with a bit of a patchwork. Oh, why, where, hello. There you are, that's annoying. I've noticed that happens a lot um, with a lot of blocks. There we are. So those are light up at night time. For now, I need to build a fireplace, which is just gonna go here. So it's gonna take up kind of that area. Uh, so I have netherrack on me, which is convenient. That's going to go here. Uh, is it? No, it's going to go here. So then I need to dig this out as well. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll go grab some more materials for that, because it's actually going to use different blocks. So I guess those don't matter, they'll get covered. But yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll go grab them now, because I've got the design in mind. Um, so I know what I'm doing. Come on. Oh, I wish I could get this to work. <laughs> but it's far too glitchy looking. Ah! Oh wow, I did it! <laughs> it was surprising. Maybe I can get that to work. Huh. Well, there's a challenge. If anyone else wants to try and do that, feel free. Nice. Well, I need more cobblestone because apparently... Do you even tunnel, bro? Um, yeah. Apparently I never have cobblestone, so... Uh, did bring torches, fantastic. I don't know why, but I have over a stack of crafting tables. Don't know when I made those. I think you'd remember something like that. But I guess not, so I'm just going to throw one down there. So, I need to make some stairs. Uh, four should be enough, but I'll make some more anyway. Okay, so I'm um, so happy that this happens, that they connect, because that is just fantastic. I don't think fences burn sorry fence gates burn but I guess we'll find out um and I'm gonna go like this like that like that and then uh let's see do I want to put oh well I first I'm gonna do that anyway uh I'm gonna take those out of my offhand like so I think that's tall enough that should be plenty tall yeah that's good Okay, uh, I need to grab some more cobblestone walls because they need to go up the side there and I don't bring out enough. Uh, 14 of those, 11 of those, more than enough. Okay, and then I want to put something on the top so it looks more like a chimney. Dun, dun, dun. Like so. Hmm, what could I put up there? I uh, don't know yet. Hmm, that doesn't feel right. Oh, because I haven't done like that. Oh, well, that doesn't even need to be there anymore, does it? That doesn't feel right at all. That's completely not right. These shouldn't be here. They're not wood. I don't like those. What was I thinking? Take those away. Keep it the single like that. And it's too tall. It's far too tall. So I'm going to take two blocks off the top. And then... Uh, let's see... Mm, now I want to go
Hmm. It still doesn't feel right. Hmm. Maybe if I got rid of these. Oh my god! I really need to light it up up there, it's way too dark. I'll be right back. All right, so it's night time now. The lights have just come on there, the fireplace is lit. So I'm gonna put these on the edges now, even though I've already got it like that. Yeah, I like that, adds a bit more. Actually, no, these seem far too bulky. So what I'm gonna do is make them, oh, and then take that one out. I'm gonna get creep it in any second now, I bet you. Um, but like uh just like this like so and then put the signs on just those uh, yeah like that's a bit better because it, before it was too bulky so this is a bit thinner um not as bold and i'm actually going to make these ones too wide just so they're not as taking up as much space i think this is actually meant to be a bit wider but i've made it quite narrow um but i like it that's quite good so i believe there's one more little aspect i'm missing of this which i'll do now after i kill this zombie here we are. Sweet, repair my tools with mending. And I knew I missed a sign there. Cool, so there's just one more little aspect I need to grab now. And then that will be done. Alright, so final things now. Um, need to go here. Yeah. There we are. And here. Still annoys me how there's no sound on top of the fence post unless you're shifting, which doesn't make sense. There we go. Cool. I'm actually gonna... No, oh, those are good there. Those are nice seats. So then you can come in, sit by the fireplace, <laughs> and just relax underneath the stars. Fantastic. Cool. So, uh, that's all I'm gonna do for the outside here. I might work on more in live streams and stuff, um, or if it's anything significant, then probably in an episode itself. Um, we do have this whole open area here. I do have a plan for something I want to make, uh, which will probably be an episode. Um, but other than that, I might try and do some live streams, which is pretty good. So now I've got something to live stream, which I'm looking forward to. Um, as you do know, I do have work quite a lot now. Um, so live streams are something that I might be able to do. Oh, it's raining. Fantastic. <laughs> might better do some more live streams just when I get home after work and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, we're the only one who's been on for a while, so... I know that a lot of people are busy at the moment, including me, so uh, episodes overall from everyone are quite uh, slow at the moment, but that's all fine, no problem with that. Um, but there is one more thing I want to do before the episode ends, so I'm going to quickly craft it up now, and I'm going to use that book up so we can get rid of it, and I will see you guys in just a second to finish up the episode. Okay, so to end up this episode, first, oh, I'm back at my keyboard, and secondly, I have got a report here. Dear Officer Coda, as you may be aware, I recently went to collect ender pearls in the end dimension and was shocked to, to discover a living dragon guarding the main island. This was an unexpected event and was unreported by the members of the server. I would like to report this event as suspicious. It was an act of public endangerment as it was unreported and contained a number of safety violations. That's probably spelled wrong. Anyway, um, I ask you to locate and charge the person responsible on acts of public, public endangerment and failure to report dangerous activity. I suggest you start with people who have reason to spawn a dragon, e.g. miss the flight, need elytra eggs, head or dragon's breath, etc. Thank you for your investigation. I look forward to results. So, if you haven't seen that episode, that was um, when I went to fight the dragon to get my own elytra. I think that was last episode, wasn't it? It was too. Um, this is the police station, by the way. I don't think I showed this. I had to remove the clip, I believe. Um, but Mr. Coca Coda's made this. You can go watch his video where he made it. It's pretty awesome. I'm really happy with how it looks, considering he's used purple. Um, so, he's used a really well combination of blocks. So, good on him. Hopefully we can find out who spawned that dragon soon if he looks into that report. Also, I did talk to him as well about joining the police there because a while ago when the serve first started, I actually wanted to make a police department, um, but he's got to it first, so good on him. I think that's awesome. Anyway, the second thing I want to do is try our luck once again because I don't think we have ever got a good pickaxe, so I'm going to throw this in here, throw that in there and click straight onto it. 
We can't win. We can't win. <laughs> something hates us. Something hates us. What have we done to deserve this? Let's take our helmet off. I think it makes us look angry. Oh, boy. Let's do this because I like doing that. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As I said before, I will hopefully do some more building of our uh, backyard, I guess we can call it, um, in future episodes and live streams and stuff. So um, be sure to keep an eye out for those. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like. It does help support the video. Uh, it helps people find the video. It helps YouTube locate the video, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe if you're not already, be sure to also check out all the other Existence members because they all make fantastic videos. Not even lying, they're all really great people and they all deserve a bit of love, so go check them out. Um, but for me, that's gonna do it for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.